Howdy folks Another weekend And we are at the river again Last weekend me and Arta was here It was pouring rain Today we have better weather Even the sun is trying to get through the clouds But I'm alone I have Mr. Masakagi with me It's supposed to be windy So I picked this spot because there is forest behind me And that's supposed to block all the wind and it should be pretty good conditions in here still there is a lot of signs of winter the higher and the more upstream you go the more of those signs you see but it's not too bad I have around five hours of fishing today not great but not terrible either because I have some time so hopefully I can catch at least one fish again funny cuz I met some guys here I uh, talked with them a little bit then I went upstream checked the spot with a few different baits cuz it looked promising to me but had no bites or no nothing and like half an hour later one of them dudes went to the same spot and caught his first sea trout as he said so I'm happy for him I went there to mark the fish because I have this fish marker spent like five hours checked I don't know a half a kilometer spot really checked it good but I had no bites whatsoever no movement strange because the weather looks perfect it's raining for like 15 minutes then it's sunny again then it's raining again so the fish has to move more in the river it has to adapt a little bit and it's supposed to be a little bit more active but either there's not a lot of fish in this pot or I'm wrong about this theory Mr. MVP had four fish by two o'clock uh, he only landed one sea trout but he fought with three more fish one salmon that got away just by his feet uh, and two more sea trouts there is a reason why he's Mr. MVP and I'm almost sure he's gonna catch a few more today. In general, I wanna talk a little bit where to find these winter spots. They are a little bit different from the ones you're fishing in autumn. The main thing is the current needs to be slower. The fish is tired after spawning, it's regaining the energy and the current has to be slower usually it's straights of the river after the turns it would be perfect that the main current would be on your side 
but it has to be slower. No mud, because these fish doesn't like mud. Sand or sand with some rocks. It would be perfect that there would be some anomalies on the bottom. It cannot be just flat. Fish do not like these flat spots. The whole river can be flat, but there has to be some bumps of like sand dunes or rocks perfect also. There has to be spots for that fish to rest. Also long, slow turns is great, but the current has to be on your side and it has to be kind of perfect. Not too fast, but not too slow. If it's super, super slow, then it's more like a pike spot than a sa salmon or sea trout. And the good way to check that is with your baits. Your bait has to move smoothly in the current. It has to be working without twitching or turning your reel or turning your reel very, very, very slowly, but it has to move smoothly and wide. If it's moving faster, that current is probably too fast for fish to rest in it. In autumn that might be a perfect spot, but winter you need a slower current. So check the Google Maps and also do your research while you're fishing in autumn, because you see those spots where it's too slow for you in autumn, keep them in mind, they might be perfect in winter. Again, you have to drive to those spots, you have to check them, you need to investigate a little bit. But you can find them on Google Maps again. Big turns and straights after the turn. See where the main current goes and if it's in the middle, it's okay, but if it's closer to your shore, it's better. Salmon might be sitting in the middle of the river. If it's a big fish, if there is a nice rock or a nice little bump and then a deeper spot, usually the bigger fish will take that spot. Uh, sea trout, since the water levels are higher now, they are often found near to the shoreline, where the shore is on the normal water levels meaning the water is above the shore where that first drop is that's the place where the fish is kind of pushing its body to that first drop and it's staying close to it and you need to work your bait always right to that first drop almost to the shore and you might get a bite there from a sea trout kind of funny because that fish came after my bait two times with a wave almost all the way to the shore but it didn't bit it did it twice uh, my bait had a little bit of grass on it maybe that's why it didn't attack it but we knew there is a fish I tried a few different baits and it kind of disappeared so we left it alone for half an hour maybe came back, made our first cast and Arthur was the first one to drift through that spot and it came out again. It almost was like dry fly. It took the bait from the surface and Arthur even saw the moment it took that bait. Nice fish, 67 centimeters, great colors, uh, a little bit thin, it didn't regain any weight seems, but still nice fish we marked it we released it and we are ready for the next one yo boy Tiak. Salmon might also be in a spot like this, but it's less likely. So that's all the knowledge from me, and you can do with it whatever you like, as I haven't caught a fish for a while now, so I might be totally wrong about it. But, but the logic 
and my previous year says that I'm not. So stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like this one, leave me a comment how is your fishing going and I will see you in the next video. Peace!